Alrighty then, here we are again. I have not taken out my uh, previous filming data, so I'm curious as to how long I can go. Oop, there's my windshield wipers. It was raining yesterday. Curious as to how far I can take this before um, I run out of room on my SD card, but I feel like I got a decent amount of room on the SD card, but it's funny how quickly you can fill up 250 gigabytes, but when you're filming half an hour a day or whatever I'm averaging at these days. But yeah, just thinking about everything that we think about this morning and trying to sort through our thoughts, I was kind of thinking about just the general idea of finances and how those affect us and what we do about that and be like can you guys see anything uh, maybe if I go down some turn the light on and see what you can see well you kind of see me it's dark which doesn't make for good filming let's turn I don't think I can I don't think it's too distracting to drive with the light on well now the focus is all jacked up is that better? Kind of. Not really. Anyway, um, thinking about finances and the latter and such, and I mean, I'm not doing bad by any means. It's just the curiosity of it all, like the more you make, the more you spend, so to speak. And I feel like I'm bigger than that ideology and I'm bigger than that. And I'm, I'm at least aware of it so that I can prevent myself from doing it. But I still feel like I do it. Like, I am, and there's like these big items that I want and I keep pushing them off because I, uh, because I'm like, oh no, like now is not the time, now is not the time, now is not the time. But then I'm spending the same amount of money on something else or a bunch of little things or whatever it is. And it just seems like a big old pointless struggle or circle or whatever you want to call it. And so like, I really want to buy a new camera. I feel like I've said that on several videos now. Obviously, I need a new mic as well. I've been listening back on a lot of these, and I'm just like, well, it's good enough to get me started, but I really need something that is going to hold up a little bit better. And so it's like a $1,000 overhaul what I'm looking at for all this equipment, and that is not a cheap price tag. And of course, like this time of year, you have to worry about um, property tax, which is kind of a donk. I rolled my property tax out of my home loan when I built my house because I wanted really small um, uh, payments throughout the year. I'm not a fan of payments. I mean, nobody's a fan of payments, but I especially don't like them. And so I wanted to do what I needed to do to keep my payments low. But then, of course, what that means is I have to shell out thousands of dollars at the end of every year in order to pay my property taxes, which is annoying, but it's not the end of the world. But at any rate, I just um, really was hoping to kind of treat myself to some Christmas presents this year. And I was going to get the new camera, and I was going to buy the new microphone, and I was going to start really hitting this whole ideology of, um, of filming and, and getting myself out there. I was really going to hope to hit that walking into next year. And like I said, I have good enough equipment to get me through in the interim, but whenever I get these sparks of inspiration, these sparks of creativity, I always want to try and um, do what I can to like make it stand out from the get-go, if that makes sense. And so it was just kind of disappointing. I was like, ah, uh, should I really re spend that kind of money right now? Should I refrain? Should I, should I, should I, should I, should I, should I? And just like the whole like ideology of finances and the fact that it is so very difficult to get ahead and stay ahead and do anything. And I feel like I'm doing relatively well. And I mean, I'm doing very well, but I'm just, not where I want to be and then it like begs the question like 
do you ever get to be where you want to be? Like, am I just doomed to always follow this and to never wind up being somewhere that is seen as worthy to me? And it's like, at what point in time do I reach the goal that I want? I don't even know that I know what goal I want for myself financially. I would really like to be able to get some rental properties built and just not have to work anymore and I can just live off of my rental income but like I have to play that smart too I'm not gonna like buy a bunch of stuff that I can't afford just so that I can eventually hopefully have it paid off like I'm gonna take my time I'm gonna do the long game about it but like the goal for me is to quit full-time work by 45 uh, or at the very least go down to part-time at that age and so like what do I need to do now when I'm succeeding and doing so well to set myself up for that in the future and that's kind of the big goal 2024 is going to be I'm determined that it's going to be an impactful year it's going to be my last year in in the years of 20 and so like after that it's 30 and beyond and I've got to figure out what that's going to mean for me but my last year in my 20s is going to be an impactful one I've determine that much between this project of the what I'm calling 2024 365 or 24 365 it's kind of like a play off of the idea of a 24 7 365 or whatever so between that and this whole YouTube thing that I've got going on um, the general like status of, of my work and like what I'm doing there and then of course just uh, continuing the creative adventures continuing to try and get my name out there might invest in real estate um, next year. I'm strongly considering at least buying my first plot. and then, Well, not my first plot, because the first plot I bought is the one I live on. So buying my second plot, and then just kind of sitting on that long enough to pay it off. And then once it's paid off, go ahead and uh, move towards uh, starting to build on it. And uh, just slowly but surely starting to build somewhat of a independent empire if you will so that if and when the time comes I can step away from the working world and be okay with that between YouTube and real estate and everything else that I have going on and my own savings and so it's like in what sort of time I've been given this uh, different position at work I've been able to make some good progress there I still continue to dip into my savings more often than I care to admit I think the biggest problem is is like I get paid on a monthly basis and it is very hard for me to figure that out Spe like historically speaking I would um, like in terms of spending I would always hold off my spending until like the next payday and so like when you're getting paid bi-weekly that wasn't so bad because it's like oh I want all these cool things I was like well I'll wait until I get paid again and then I'll go and splurge or whatever but now like I don't get paid until the end of the month or the start of the new and then like by that point I have like an entire month's worth of stuff that I want to buy and it's amazing to me how quickly money comes and how quickly money goes and like I said I'm very good about payday I stuck I stick in the bank what I need to stick in the bank and then everything else I keep in my savings but like or not in my savings but in my spending account I'm very rigid with like how I spend or whatever but I still am consistently going over which is bothersome and so it's just like trying to figure that out and it's like at what point in time do I find my way because I've been being paid monthly now since March so this isn't I, I feel like it's not new of a new enough of a thing for me to still be scrambling around trying to figure out how the heck I'm dealing with it but here I am still scrambling around trying to figure out how the heck I'm gonna deal with it so I don't know um, trying to just work out finances and the weird things that pop up in your head any given morning but I really want to be able to just buy the camera that I want and buy the mic that I want and buy all this equipment and be able to put out better videos to make this 24 365 challenge of mine really kind of glow and stick out for you guys because I want it to be something special I don't want it to just be another video project and hopefully that 
um, rings true as I progress. Like, if anybody starts watching these now and then continues to watch them throughout their development, when I do buy the new camera and when I do get the microphone and I do and I do and I do and I do, you'll be like, wow, like things have significantly improved since um, back in November when he was just filming random videos in his car or whatever. Hopefully not every video is just me driving to and from work, but it's just a very easy thing to do. Like when I decided I was going to do this challenge, I was like, okay, so I'm, I'm going to need some sort of way to stay consistent with making long form videos. And like sitting down at home is not a good way to go about doing that because I just don't, um, I just have so many other things going on by the time I get home. And honestly, the idea kind of sprang from, so when I, I have really bad springtime allergies. And back in 2019, I was over it. I didn't want to have to deal with my springtime allergies anymore. So what I did was they have like three different allergy programs. They have the drops, they have the shots, and they have the toothpaste. Well, I had tried the drops and the shots in the past. And the problem was like working that into your daily pattern or your daily routine, so to speak. Like creating routines is a very hard thing for humans to do. And it's funny because like the bad habits are very easy to acquire but like the good habits take so much more work to acquire but at any rate um, at the time in 2019 when I was over my allergies I was like you know what I'm gonna do the toothpaste and the reason being is because I brush my teeth every every morning and every night anyway and so it only makes sense that I would use the toothpaste as a way to do this whole fighting the allergy thing because at that point it's like I'm already brushing my teeth every day anyway all I'm changing is the fact that I'm now using a different toothpaste and so it was kind of the same thought process here when I was putting these videos together is it's like you know I'm already driving to work every day anyway and I have to drive home every day anyway and what was I historically doing whenever I was in the car and generally speaking I'm just listening to music which is something I love to do but I was like I could be more productive with that time and just film myself driving to and from work and talking about stuff and being all cool and friendly and philosophical with people and seeing what that does and like I said it was it was inspiring to see the success of Sam Sulek because I feel like his videos are very just broken down and and real and that was always been kind of one of my pet peeves of YouTube is like the popular scene of YouTube so far or for so long it's felt so fake like everybody was just forcing excitement and they were forcing these way huge over-the-top life events and like those can be entertaining but there's a time and there's a place for that and I don't want that to always be what um, I'm going for and it gets exhausting when you're just like a solo creator to try and put that much effort into like editing all these videos and putting all these things together and you gotta make thumbnails and it's just a whole big old thing and like the fact that I could potentially grow on YouTube just sitting down and having conversations with people is kind of incredible and like honestly I could probably like make this a podcast too if my mic were a little better I feel like there's too much background noise here and people would be like what the world is this guy doing I'm just driving to work don't worry about it nobody's getting run over but yeah it was inspiring to see that and inspiring enough that I was like I'm gonna do my own kind of YouTube challenge and see what happens see what comes of it because everybody also says like consistency is key and I do admit that I struggle with consistency I struggle with the idea of sticking with it a single project for too incredibly long as in like I am I am quick to just be like okay that was fun that was my fad for the week and then I'm gonna move on to something else and do something else and I really need to kind of get away from that and be like okay I need to give something the proper amount of time to like succeed and like I've, I've been able to do that with my writing I feel like I've I've been working on that since 2015 almost 10 years now of course I didn't publish my first book until 2020 which was three years ago but it didn't any rate 
I feel like I've given that the proper time to shine and that I'm making really good products now in, in that spectrum of things. But like as far as marketing, like technically I've been doing this whole, like I've been uploading a, a reel every morning on Instagram for like a year now and it has gone everywhere but nowhere. And that just feels frustrating because it's like I've been doing this for a year and I have gotten nowhere for it. And so it's a very tedious game and just waiting for people to finally notice you is definitely not the best way to go about doing things but it's also partially like the only way to go about doing things and like I want to do more like physical in-person stuff as well try and get out there and be and be known in the uh, in the real realm and the spectrum of that but to the same end like I don't know there's just there's a whole lot of stuff going on and it's different for everyone and that was like the big thing like I didn't want to just like clone what Sam was doing obviously I couldn't clone what Sam was doing because I'm not this massive hulk of a human that is like incredibly impressive to watch in the gym but I have hopefully something else and something unique to offer to the world instead so it's like he's got his thing I've got mine and hopefully that mine is something that can attention grab some attention and and get some audience going as well I uh, joined a writing group yesterday off of um, built them well they the group was built off of reddit and uh, they think there's like eight of us right now and they're taking things pretty seriously they're trying to read a piece of everyone's work every day and critique it every day and like historically speaking like I like belonging to groups like that I think that's a good thing to do but like historically speaking the groups have not been nearly as active as I would like them to be in that um, we're just like oh hey we're a group and then we don't do anything and then it's like why are we even here so um, yeah I am hoping even though like reading and editing a piece of work every day seems to be a bit much for me like I've got enough going on trying to do that and keep up with that sounds exhausting but it's still good to know that I'm part of a group that's actually actively doing things and trying to work with each other because like eventually what's gonna happen like if this group grows past eight people there ain't no way you're gonna be able to do that and keep that going well I mean I guess we could we would just have it be longer before the circle finally comes around to your turn again and like that's assuming that you're doing this just to have a turn like um, the exposure is 90% of it like if people know who you are and people are aware of who you are then that's that's a good start and that's a good way to get known on the internet and and get become a thing really and that's what I was like I don't want this to sound like all I'm, I'm doing this all for the fame I just want people to know who I am that's absolutely not the case but um, it helps when people know who you are and it's nice to write books and have people actually want to read them and I'd be a fool to say that that's not at least a good portion of the goal when you pick up writing and so or at least when I do and so like I'm, I'm being real with myself when I say these things and I'm not ashamed to be real with myself because I know what I want out of this life and it's just a matter of getting it at this point and so we are almost there this will almost conclude the conversation that we've had today and it's kind of interesting doing this because I get to see how long it takes me to drive to work every day not that I necessarily didn't have any idea how long it took me I knew it was roughly about 20 minutes every day but like I can actually average out the length of these videos and be like oh my goodness on this day it took 18 day or 18 minutes and on this day it took 22 minutes and then this day and on this day and on this day and then eventually you get to the point where you can kind of average it out and be like oh on average it takes 19.45 minutes to drive to work and that's neat I guess I like numbers and figures like that I'm stuck in stop and go right now which is really killing my time but uh yeah so it's been an eventful day talking finances and talking um YouTubes and new writing groups and 
I was really I'm not sure for how long I'm going to be able to keep this up. I keep saying that, but every morning I hope to find something different to talk about and productive to talk about because you don't want to just talk about the same stuff every day and you certainly don't want to just drive and be like, hey guys, I'm driving to work. Watch me drive to work. That's boring and I'm not convinced that what I'm doing isn't boring actually, but um, you guys tell me differently if you're like, you know, no, you guys, you're doing pretty good or you know what, like it would be more entertaining if you did jumping jacks while you drove to work. I don't know how I'd manage that, but I could certainly give it a, give it a whirl. But yeah, so y'all hopefully have a great day, have a great week. I don't know what day you're seeing this on, and that's kind of the amazing thing. Is I'm I'm tempted to like break this up by day and all that, but you don't want this to necessarily feel like it's old information, so to speak, because like we as people like to hear relevant stuff, and so like putting dates and times and stuff on this is kind of dangerous too, because they're like, oh, he recorded this X amount of days ago. But I mean, the reality of the situation is like you never see something live and in the flesh unless it's a live stream or something but anyway that has been this morning you guys have a good one and we'll do it again